Hi guys, in this tutorial we shall see how to draw a concrete column and controlling its properties. To draw a member, select the column under concrete ribbon. Now you see the property tab popping on the right side. In general, you have the name, profile, material, class and finish. To choose a profile, click on the three dots and double click on the profile to load one. Similarly, you can modify the material finish and class. We shall move on to defining the top and bottom height. Click anywhere on the model to draw a column. Note, the top pink point is the top height that is 3000 and the yellow at the bottom is 0. Note, if I change the value at the bottom RL to 500, see the bottom point is increased. Now, if I place the column anywhere after applying the properties, it's going to be on the same RL applied and it's easy to place the column on plan view. Next, moving on controlling its position. You can control it to move vertically from the work point by adjusting the values on vertical box and similarly for horizontal box. If you want to rotate the column, adjust the values in rotation. Usually, you do not find changes in a square column but it is well seen when you add some rotation angle to it. Now, let us move on to deforming. When values are given to wrapping, it causes a twist in the column. Cambering are done to bend the members, usually done on steel beams per project specification. The values are given in mm. Giving a value to shortening do not affect the members in model, but affects the values when a report or a drawings are taken. Here, the member is 1500 mm. But when measured, it's 3000 mm length. That's it guys, we have seen all the methods of drawing a concrete column and controlling its properties. See you at next section.